Okay. I'm, we, we left a little bit in the middle of Osik, the mitzvah, Patrim, and mitzvah, which I want to get back to at some point, but I want to go on a tangent right now. And to Hilchus Tzitzis, Simon Chafes. And um, just to learn the halacha, and then we'll have, um, just to learn the halacha. Simon Chafes, Echad. Let me just mute everybody, I'm sorry. The uh, Shulchan Aruch says as follows. Kono talus, if you buy yourself a talus, ve'asa by tzitzis, and you put tzitzis them, them, mevarech shech nianu, you make a shech nianu. Get a new talus, put tzitzis in it, make a shech nianu. Laigora mikelim chadoshim, because it's not any worse than buying a new suit. Yeah, very simple. Talus gadol or talus cotton or both? He's talking about a talus gadol. It seems like simple enough, uh, innocent language of the Mahaber, but it's a very, very, um, there's a lot of diukim to be made. The Ramah says, And if you didn't make the bracha when you were making the tzitzis, let's say you're the type that makes your own tzitzis, you make the bracha when you first put it on. The more do you come to be made? This is in Simon Chavez. There's only one Sif Sif out. Now, what? Why is Kanatalus Vasa by Tzitzis Mevarach Shachiano to like Gara Mikelim Chadashim? What is that Lashim? Because it's not worse than buying a new bag. Why? Why? Why does he give us such a Lashim of like Gara? Like why not make a Shachiano? It's no worse than buying a suit. And the answer is. Probably what he means is that normally when we do a new mitzvah, um, you buy a new pair of tefillin, let's say, you wouldn't make a shechian. That sounds like that's the um, sheet of the machaber. You wouldn't make a shechian on tefillin or on uh, a new mezuzah. You don't make a shechian. But on tzitzis, a talus, let's call it a talus gadol, you do make a shechian. Why? That's different, like Gara Mikhailam Chadosh, because it's a baguette. Of course, if it's a baguette, you have, you know, it's a new baguette, you make a shaky on Yeah, everybody understand my deal here? I don't know if it's a deal, I think it's the Pashat of Shah. It's a mashma from the Shochan Aruch that you don't make a shaky on new mitzvahs. You make a shachianu on a lulav, you make a shachianu on matzah, but every time you do a new mitzvah, you don't make a shachianu. The, the, the second question is, and I, I want to just be medayik in the Mishnah, but before we do that, the Shulchan Aruch, kana talas v'asa by tzitzas, nevarach shachianu. What, what is it, I mean, when, what does it have to do with you making tzitzas? Before that, it's not right to, to wear. So uh, you can't wear it, so you have to put tzitzis on. And then you can wear it to make a shachianu. Okay. Then it becomes a keli chadashu. Mm -hmm. So what if you buy a pair, of, like like I do, you buy a talus with tzitzis in it? So you should make a shachianu. So he's just saying a uh, hechatimsa. In other words, a hechatimsa is that a talus of Arab confice Without tzitzis, you can't make a shachianu. So that's a new chiddush, because that's not a baguette chadash. Similarly, let's say, um, not, let's say you buy a suit from the store. So you don't make a shachianu because you can't, it's not tailored and it's not checked for shotness and it's not ready to be worn. So therefore, you don't make a uh, shachianu. When do you make the shachianu? When it's all ready. So kanatal is for us about tzitzis, mevar a shachianu. So the Mishnah Burr says here, Kanatalis, Ain Lahakshais. Don't ask the question in Dahal Kalim Khadashin Sarah Lavarak Bishaskin. Normally, 
He's asking this kasha. There's, there's, there's a halacha that a question when you buy a, um, a new garment, when do you make the shechianu? Do you make it when you buy the garment or you make it when you wear the garment? So there's two shitas, both of them are acceptable. You could buy it when you, you can make the shechianu when you wear it or you can make the shechianu when you buy it. Why? Because they both cost simple. Let's understand Shachnion is a Brahan symbol. So, why over here does the Shulchan Aruch specifically say that you have to have Tzitzis? So, it's like you say, So, why does the Shulchan Aruch add this word, So, the answer is, the only time you would ever make a bracha on the Kenyan of a bag of chadash is if you bought it ready to use. It's ready to go right away. I made a Kenyan, let's say a shirt. Let's say you don't do uh, um, any, if it's an expensive shirt, you paid 150 bucks for a shirt or something. You want to make a shachiano on it, you could buy, you could make the shachiano b'shaz Kenyan. But by a talus, which is not matzuyat, you don't have that etza. Az mevarech miyat. Avalin kana beged lasayis mimeno malbushim. Let's say you buy a piece of cloth. By material, and you want to make clothes from it. <coughs> you never, you don't make it a shachianu on new material, even though it's very expensive. It's a bit, you don't make it even after you finish the baggage. You don't make shachianu. Rak bishas levisha dafka. So you have to have one of these milestones events, either kinyan or levisha. You don't make it in between. Dubain and Shah, and this is his very beautiful Khidish here. When it comes to Shahiyanu, Bain and Shah Miyuchedas, you need a milestone event. Oi Kinyan, Oi Lavisha. The Hacha and Bait Sitzis, Halayena, Roy Lulav Shai Takev. And here Bait Sitzis, you can't wear it because of the towels without Sitzis. The Halaits are Lahatul Bait Sitzis. Al Kane, Yachal of Archal of Vishas Kinyan. So you only have one choice to make the bracha b'shas, b'shas levisha, right? Then the mission Bura says, "Ukedei lotzeis gamkein das hasoivrim detzarech levarich shechiyano al asias mitzvah b'pam rishayna." But there is a shita that holds that on every mitzvah, when you get something new, new mezuzah, new tefillin. You should make a bracha. So now the Bishop tells us a chiddush al kain yevarech b'shas asiyas atzitzes v'layamtin ad halavisha. And this, you should. So we have a third time to make the uh, shachiano, and that is when you make the tzitzes. And the Bishop Bur says that's what you should do. Yes. So what he's what he's saying here is being miyashev the lashon of the mechaber. Because the Machaber doesn't say Kanatalus Vasabitsitz Mavarak Shachiano, it doesn't say Vilava Shaisa Mavarak Shachiano. Mishabur is saying why what it says when you make the tzitzes, you make the shachiano. So we have three times, three milestone events that are possible to make a shachiano. One is when you buy it, that doesn't work for a talashana matsuyatis. The other is when you make the tzitzes. Why should you make a shachiano then? Because there are those that say that you should make a shechianu when you get a new mitzvah, and now you have a new mitzvah, even though you didn't wear it. So what's the mitzvah? That's a kasha. And the third time to make the shechianu is when you're doing the levisha. And, and, and now look back for a minute. I just followed this very simple halacha on the Ramah. The Ramah says, the Mloy Be'erach B'Shasa Siyas. You see that the Shulchan Aruch it's clearly speaking about the Shasa Sia because that's what the Ramah is going on. So, if you didn't make the bracha when you made the tzitzis, like the Shulchan Aruch said, let me add, you should still make it when you put it on. So, the Ram, so, so both the Machaber and the Ramah seem to say. What's 
Both the Machaber and the Ramah and the Mishnabura seem to say that Lechatchila used to try to be Yotze the Shitas of making the Bracha Bishas Asiyah Sam Mitzvah. Here's my question before we start. Why would you ever make the Bracha on making the Tzitzas? It's Nishtahim Nishtahir. When you buy it, I could understand. When you wear it, I understand. Why are we making it? Like the Shulchan Aruch says, Bishasa Siyas Hamitzvah, Bishasa Siyas Hatzitzes, because there is a Shita which I'm going to explain to you, which says that you should make a bracha whenever you do a new mitzvah. The Seder, when you do the mitzvah, but, but not when not when you're not when you're making tzitzes. Making tzitzes is nothing but a hechsher mitzvah. There's no mitzvah to make tzitzes, right? We learned this even even uh, cotton can make tzitzes. So I mean, all that there's no mitzvah to make tzitzes. I can stand in the store all day making tzitzes, not doing any mitzvahs. It's a hechsher mitzvah. So so. How, how is how are we both it's not a cash on the mission on the shulchan Aruch, how are we hopping around like another shita by making the bracha bishas asiyas hatzitzis and the bible rama tells us only but the avid if you didn't make it bishas asiyas hatzitzis you should make it bishas asiyas everyone everyone hear my question anybody there, anybody there on the other side what, what, what would you do if you have a talus and the tzitzis become possible? You take off the old tzitzis, put on the new tzitzis. Are you chayv again in another bracha? So, very good. So, as a beged chadosh, for sure it's not a beged chadosh. As a new mitzvah, okay, maybe. But, you know, I, just, I want to go back, though, to this lashon of the Shulchan Aruch. If he's telling us to make a, a, a bracha of Shechiano on the talus because I just made tzitzis in it, then why does he have to add that piece to like gar to like gara mikalim chadosh? So so it seems to be clear, as I said at the beginning, that the shulchan shulchan aruch is coming la fuke making the bracha on the mitzvah. So I think the mishnah is explaining here. I just want to repeat this again, so it's crystal clear, because I have to read this five six times till I got it clear. Uh, the mishnah the is explaining the shulchan aruch like this. You know, take a side, take a side, machaber. Either you're making a bracha on a baguette because like it's like every other baguette and I have some kind of new talus or you're making a bracha on a new mitzvah. So he says, you should make a bracha on a talus. Why? Because it's not worse than a baguette. Okay, make a shachiyano. So then why should I make it when I make the tzitzis? I'm doing a baguette. I don't, I don't make it, you know, I don't, nobody's going to tell me that when I take my suit out of the tailor and I got the cuffs in it, all of a sudden I should make a shachiyano then. So the answer is because he's going with the shita, says the Mishnah he's being machmer like the shita that says that you know the bracha here is not on beged chadash, chaperain also the bracha on a new mitzvah. So normally you wouldn't do it, let's say on tefillin you wouldn't do it. So what do you do? You 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 make it on kalim chadashim and chaperain, the part about making the mitzvah. But it's it's shver to chaperain like that because if you because first of all making sits is not a mitzvah. And second of all, like which which sheet are you going with? Are you going with this sheet? Are you going with that sheet? Look at the Mishnah Burris, Sif Cut and Bays. Make it even clearer what I'm saying. To like Gara Mikalim Chadashim, and he's explaining what I just explained to you. I will ain mevarach shechianu al a mitzvah. You never make a bracha shechianu on a mitzvah, right? Everybody agree with that? You don't make shechianu on a mitzvah. Kivan de enoi ba mizman lizman. Uh, uh, mezuzah is all the time you have to have a mezuzah. It's filling all the time you have to put on to fill in. What about, uh, pick your mitzvah. A mitzvah, which is bum, is man, lezman, like matzah, yes. Bulav, yes. But not a, so, so the Mishnah is mefarish. So why does the Shulchan Aruch say that you don't make a bracha, that it's, home, that it's not worse than new clothing? Because on a mitzvah, you wouldn't make the bracha. Your question. Let's say you make tzitzis on an old baguette. Even if it never had tzitzis. In your case, you don't make a shechianu. So shmami no, from this Mishnah Bura, that a mitzvah is never going to be machai of you to do a shechianu. The only thing that's machayv us to make a shechianu 
is going to be the Beget Chadash. So why does he say Kanatalas Vasa by Tzitzis? So first of all, it makes it Royal Levisha. But, but the Mishnah is explaining that that's not just a way to make it Royal Levisha. That's when you make the Shechianu. So it's a funny halacha that you make the Shechianu when you finish the Tzitzis, which is halacha lemaisa. That's what the Mishnah Berah says. There's no, no question on it. So, first of all, a little bit of background. And that is that basically there's three shitas in the Rishonim. There's Taisus. This is all in, in Masech to Sukkah. Chavbeis, Amon Beis. Taisu says that you don't make brachas on mitzvahs unless it brings you a lot of simcha. He says, Kigoin, Sukkah, Lulav, Vuloy al tzitzis utfilin chadashin. Why, why does it, <laughs> Balabatish here, why does a Lulav bring you more simcha than tfilin? What do you say? What do you say? Uh, what do you say? Somebody give me a svar. But it says a lulav, you got a lot of simcha. It's filling, you don't get a lot of simcha. Why? Kufati. Kufati. It's uh, right. Shechianu is like Lazman Azel. I'm very excited. I get the same Pesach. Oh, I got the Pesach. I got the, I got the circus. But it's easy that I do every day. So you're not really making it on the on the on the mitzvah. Make it on the Zman. So if the mitzvah brings me a lot of a simcha, says Taisus, you make a bracha. Okay. The Rambam's Lashon is, let's read this Rambam, and Hilchus Brachas, Parakut Aleph Halachates. The Rambam's Lashon is, Yesh Levarech Shechianu Be'echad, he's talking about on a mitzvah, Be'echad Mishloishes Hatznayim Habayim. You need three conditions, it probably means one of three conditions, to make a bracha Shechianu on a mitzvah. Mitzvah haba mizman lazman. So there's your lul of an esrit. Mitzvah she'ena tadira ve'ena metsuya b'choles. Kagoin mila spinoi. Do you make a bracha shechian on, 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 a, on a bris mila? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Ephraim, when you had your sons, you made a bracha on a bris mila? Shechian Seven times. <laughs> what about in an instance where a person didn't have a bris mila until later in life? We find this by Russians a lot. Uh, so then would the person make shachian about himself? There's another question, like, yeah, or on a gerus. Or a gerus, right. So does a person make on, on his own mila? According to the Rambam, yes. I'll tell you, in, mo- in many kihilas in America, they don't make a shachian at a bris mila. Uh, England, they don't make a shit. This is an Eretz Yisrael dika thing. So it means to say, here in Eretz Yisrael, for some reason, we're passing like the Rambam. And you make a Shechianu on a bris mila, because otherwise it's just a Shechianu on a mitzvah, and Toysu says you don't make a bracha on it. Yeah? So, uh, the, and the reason is because in Eretz Yisrael, a lot of times the minig is like the Grah, and the Grah passing is like the Rambam. That's why. I mean, can, can we ask that, that Shechianu has different purposes. Like for example, when we say Yok Nahaz, in that sense, the Shekhinah is on Zman. But for example, when we're talking about Bris Mila, it's not about Zman, it's there's something happening. When we buy new clothes, there's an event that's happening. It's not an union of Zman. So is it the Shekhinah is, it can, can be categorized. You mean according to the Rambam, that you make a Shekhinah on a Bris Mila? Yeah. Or a Pidyan Ben? Right. So no, you're saying the reason is, is you want to say that the reason is is because it's like you have a new a new article of clothing. Right, right. So the, it can't be because the Rambam, I don't think it can be, because the Rambam is putting it here in Hilchas in Hilchas Brachas Birchas Hamitzvahs. That's what he's talking about. So it's not because it's not because the 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 Mila, okay, yesterday I got a suit, today I got a bris. Um, that's not the, um, by the way, there's another reason not to make a bracha shechianu is because of tzar di another, another reason not to make a bracha on the bris. 
but I don't think that's the case, Yoni, because um, we're the placement of the Rambam. Then the Rambam says a, a, a third case where you make a Shekhinyan on a mitzvah. Kol mitzvah shehi kinyan loy. Like you don't have a kinyan in, in your bris or in a pidyan aben. I guess you have a kinyan of the kid, but it's not really a kinyan. Kigayin tzitzis utfilon chadashois. So the Rambam says three reasons that you'd make a bracha shechianu on a mitzvah. One more time, either because it's bami zman l'zman, or because it's it's um it's not a regular mitzvah like mila once in a lifetime mitzvah or as or seven times. And the third thing is if you make a kinyan, if the mitzvah gives you some type of a kinyan, and that might be what you're saying, Yoni, that okay, like. I have I have new tzitzis. I have new tefillin. As far as I know, by the way, when it comes to getting new tefillin, making a shachianu, Shulchan Aruch is quiet about this. <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't give us instructions to make shachianu on a new pair of tefillin. So we just learned the Taisvis and the Rambam. The Ran Sukkah Chavbeis brings the Taisvis and he says. I have the little sternness in front of me. Biracha shechianu tukna al mitzvahis hatluyos bizman. That the only time you can make a shechianu, period, period. The only time you can make a shechianu is if there's a zman element to it. Like you said, Yoni, yak nahaz. There's a zman element to it. Lachain, ein levarech al tfilin chadasho shechianu. So you have here a mafurish, machoikis, Rambam, and the Ran. Whether you make a shechianu a new tefillin, the Rambam says clearly mafurish that you do make a shechianu a new tefillin, a new tzitzis, and the Ran says clearly be mafurish that you don't make it on tefillin chadosh. He doesn't say anything about tzitzis. Okay. What about Bersmila? Also the same thing. Bersmila would argue as well, right? Right. This is not Kabul, he's talking Chagim. He's Chagim, Chagim. Chagim. Bami well, zman If I, according to, <laughs> according to Shita's toast was, if I were to buy an expensive suit, do I make the Shef Yanu? Taisa says, he's, he's he, Taisa, ta, everybody says you make a Shef Yanu on a Beged Chadash. Nobody argues with that. The why is the fill in, why is, why is a pair of fill in less than a, a suit? Because mitzvah's lav lahan no. Yeah, you with me? Because mitzvahs are not for the purpose of hana. Mitzvahs are not for the purpose of simcha. Al pi halacha, if you say, I'm not going to have any hana from a pair of tefillin, you're still allowed to put on the tefillin because it's not called hana. If you say you're not allowed to have any hana from a uh, suit, then you're not allowed to put on the suit. It's an ed. So that's, that's the reason. So here we're talking about, I mean, we have a few possibilities for making a shechiyano. One is on a beged chadash, another is on a mitzvah chadasha, and another is on anything that comes mizman l'zman. Uh, like, let's say you don't see your, um, your a loved one for for uh, twelve months, or we don't want to get into that machoy. So, so you, it's not you don't have a new kinyan, and you don't have a new mitzvah, but you have a new simcha. <coughs> so it's the same thing as a beged chadash. So, so according to Taisus. It has to be a mitzvah which has simcha. Veloy al tzitzis with tefillin. Loy al tzitzis with tefillin. What about a new car, new house? For sure, you make a shachiyano. So, That's included in the Rambam's the Rambam's third category. If you make a kenyan, he puts house, clothes, and mitzvahs together. It's two things are in there. It seems to be yeah. Kol she mitzvah he kenyan like he going tzitzis with tefillin chadoshes. But he does mention a suit, which is interesting. No, but, but look, but it, he's talking about whether you make a, a shechianu on a mitzvah. Right. So the answer is not always, but if the mitzvah entails a kinyan, you make a. Uh, he's not, he talks in a different place about suits and houses and cars. Oh, so okay, not here, but fine. Right. Nobody questions that. That's a gemara. The gemara question. The gemara says clearly, um, you make a you make a shechianu. There's no question. The only question here is on the table or on the screen. Yeah, the only question that we're dealing with here is whether you make a shechianu on a mitzvah or not, 
a mitzvah chadasha. So the Rambam says yes, the Ran says no. Yeah? So now I ask you to go back to the Shulchan Aruch. Which way does he pass? Like the Rambam or like the Ran? I think. It passes like the run because he's he's not referring to it as a mitzvah. He's referring to it as a chafetz. So he says, look at the Mishnah Berurah. Ain mevarek shechianu ala mitzvah in base. Ki v'deinu ba mizman lizman. What does that mean? That's, that's, the, that's the Rambam. That it has to be ba mizman lizman, but the Rambam says that you do make a bracha. <laughs> so he, what he means to say is that even the Ran, you don't, that's what he says, you don't make a bracha on tzitzis. Who says anything about a mitzvah having to come mizman lizman? The Rambam. Right? The Ran said it has to be a mitzvah sheyeshi masimcha. The Ran, the Ran said it has to be, okay, shechiyanu tuk nerak on mitzvah satluyos bizman. And the Rambam came along and he says, no, any mitzvah, which is bam mizman lazman, you make a bracha. So he says, you don't make a bracha because it's not bam mizman lazman. But in any case, the, um, he just told us we don't make a bracha. Like, so you see from the Mishnah Brewer, I'm sorry if I'm mixing you up a little bit. I'm just trying to get clear here. You see from the Mishnah Brewer that if a mitzvah would be mizman lazman, he would paskin that you make a bracha. Isn't that correct? So, could it be Ram? that he's that, that he's chashish for the Ran and the Rambam, as as to create each each of the each of those those shitas could create a suffix and suffix suffix bracha lekula. Is not is not machriya. Could be. You talking about the Mishnah or Shulchan Aruch? Uh, either, right? Okay. <coughs> let's let's talk. I think the Mishnah is just being the Farish of Shulchan Aruch. So, according to the Shulchan Aruch and the Rama, um, you it's, it's the way the Mishnah is explaining it. Um, the reason why you don't make a bracha on sitzus is because it doesn't come mizman lazman. So he's paskining like the Rambam, or at least the Chumrah. But what the Pella is that the Rambam himself says you do make a bracha on tzitzis, even though it's not bomis man lizman. Why? Because mipneshu kinyan loy. So, so I just want to point out that that uh, let's learn like let's learn uh, this halacha like lamdanim. So the the, the Mishnah Bura, and for that matter the Shulchan Aruch is palkin and diburi. They're saying a little bit like the Rambam, a little bit not like the Rambam. They're saying that the Mishnah Bura says if the mitzvah would come misman lizman. You would make a bracha, but this one's not bam ismael zman, so you don't make a bracha. On the other hand, if it would come ismael zman, you would make a bracha, so therefore you don't make a bracha on sitzes. On the other hand, the Rambam says you do make a bracha on sitzes, but for a different reason, because it's a Kenyan lie. So maybe that's what the Shulchan Aruch means. Maybe the Shulchan Aruch is also saying like the Rambam, even though. You bought a talus, and you can't wear it. It's not right to wear because it doesn't have tzitzis. Um, so, and it's not bum mizman lizman, let's say. Nevertheless, like Gara Mikhailam Chadashim, what's it worse than the fact that it's a Kenyan? So maybe the Shulchan Aruch is saying the Omek Divir Rambam. Does everyone follow me on that? Yeah. Like Gara Mikhailam Chadashim. So one more time. So why do you have to make? Why when you make? Why do you have to make tzitzis? Why why when you make tzitzis do you make a bracha? So now I understand it, because when you make tzitzis, I, I ask the kasha. Why when you make tzitzis? That's not a mitzvah. But the Rambam saying when do you make a bracha on a mitzvah when it's a kinyan loy. So. And it has to be a Kenyan loy, which is Roy Lulavisha. So now I'm making a bracha on the mitzvah because I'm coined and it's Roy Lulavisha. So you make the bracha when you make the tzitzis. 
So the, so the Mishnah Burr here in Olive tells us that, and this is very important, Halacha Lamaisa, the Mishnah Burr tells us in Olive here that usually there's three times, two times, two milestones for making a Shekhiana, one when you buy it and one when you wear it. And by tzitzis, there's a third one, and that's when you make the tzitzis. Why? Because let's go with the Rambam. So it comes out that the Shulchan Aruch is going with the Rambam and, and saying that you make a bracha on tzitzis if it's right to wear, and you make it when you wear the tzitzis because of the third reason in the Rambam, even though it's Eino Mizman Lizman, because of the third mitzvah in the Rambam, the third halach in the Rambam, which is a Kenyan for him. I, I have a question. It, it sort of goes back to the Yisud. What is the mitzvah of tzitzis? Is the mitzvah of tzitzis to buy them the tzitzis, or is the mitzvah of tzitzis to wear the tzitzis? Machlaikas in, in the Gemara. Machlaikas in the Gemara. If it's choivus mana or choivus gavra. Yeah, but, but that, that stands in the background of what this the seeming machlotet is. Because if it's the mitzvah is wearing the tzitzis, then the only reason I would make the mitzvah when I buy the tzitzis, buy the talit, or make the talit, is because it's a Kenyan, not because it's a mitzvah. That's not the mitzvah. But if a mitzvah is buying the uh, talit, then I understand that it's both a Kenyan and a mitzvah. And if we can complicate things, we just said that there's not a mitzvah to make tzitzis. But the pasuk it says that the pasuk says we say in Krishna vasu lem tzitzis vnasnu al big al So it says vasu vnasnu. The pasuk itself doesn't say about wearing it. The pasuk says about making tzitzis and al konfevi dehem l'dorah sav vnasnu lehem tzitzis. No, placing it. Well, what else? I mean, when you're gonna wear the arba kant, please make sure you make tzitzis on it. But you're saying that the pasuk of the pasuk sounds like there's a mitzvah to. To make, make it, that, that's yeah, but I'm saying to make tzitzis, to stand on the floor and make tzitzis and never wear them is a mitzvah. Right. Yeah, okay. uh, like not giving so, the check. I'm, not, I'm a little bit sorry here, you know, Ephraim, in other words, you argued with yourself because first you said that the Shulchan Aruch obviously is passing like the Ram. And now we see the Shulchan Aruch is passing like the Ram. That's, that's what I'm saying. Because I hear that. Yeah. Yeah. Because but, what, what, what's going on here, this is what I'm saying, by the way, is a Chiddush Niflo <laughs> that nobody says. That it comes out that the Rambam, that the that the Shulchan Aruch, and even the Mishnah Bura, everyone asks on Shulchan Aruch, why does it go against the Rambam? Shulchan Aruch always goes with the Rambam. The answer is he's not going against the Rambam. But the Rambam has a couple of halachas of when you make a shachion on mitzvah. He doesn't just say you always make a shachion on a mitzvah. So the first halach of the Rambam, let's go over it again, was mitzvah bab yisman lizman shaker x x tzitzis don't work. Second mitzvah of the Rambam is mitzvah sheina to diravena mitzuya b'chaleis. X, not check. You're wearing tzitzis right. all the time. The third Allah the Rambam is mitzvah shukinyan, like you're going tzitzis with tefillin, check. So, so what it is, is, a, is it's a bracha, not on a beged chadash. It's a very important understanding. You're not making a bracha on a beged chadash. You're making a bracha on a mitzvah, which you have a kinyan in. Which is, the, which will, should be the case by, by tefillin also. Right. So the Shulchan Aruch is, is justifying that you don't make it on tefillin, I guess. The Mashmoy says you don't make the bracha on tefillin because mitzvah's lavlan is no one. What are you making on tefillin? There's, not, there's, no, there's no, for that already we have to be machmer like the, uh, like the Ran that says there's no simcha with it because mitzvah's lavlan is no zadadin simcha. So here he says, okay, maybe by tefillin, maybe by mezuzah. Uh, we should make a bracha, but but tzitzis legara legara mikelim chadash, and so a whole new understanding in the in the shulchan aruch here that is paskining like the Rambam in the third in the third reason of the Rambam. Okay, good to learn. Let's let's take um, let's let's go a little bit further, and we'll come full circle. As everyone says these days, come firstly, come full circle. The Rama says that if you didn't make it, one second, before I go further, I just want to make sure we all understand. So, why do you make the bracha here, um, David? Say it over. Why do you make the bracha when you make the tzitzis? It was the fact that the positive of Asulim says, why don't we do that? Forget about your yeah, passage. I'm just saying. Okay. But, to, yeah. Well, according to what we just like. Because the miss, miss is wearing it, and so it's either at the Kenyan, or at or at the or at the time of the fulfilling of the mitzvah. But when you make it, uh, that's just a middle ground. 
So why why would you make a bracha? Your answer. Oh, why would you? Oh, because the Rambam. So because mitzvah chadasha when you have a new mitzvah, no available to you. No, because the Rambam the Rambam only says a mitzvah chadasha which is cunning, which is a kinyan. Mm-hmm. So the mashmoy says the the simcha of the kinyan of tzitzis is when you made the tzitzis, when it's at, when it's wearable. So the bracha you're making is not on beget chadash. The bracha you're making is on mitzvah chadasha, but you can only make that bracha. So it's a mitzvah chadasha because of kinyan, but there's only a gemar kinyan when you when you when you make the tzitzis because otherwise you have no ishtabshus in it one way or the other. You can't do anything with it. So it's a birchas hamit. Such an interesting hechatim. So it's a birchas hamitzvah, which you could only make when it's kosher for the mitzvah, because then it's then then you have a kinyan. So you have to really understand this deeply, and it's going to come out a lot in nafkaminus. I think you have to put it. You have to put it on when you're making that bracha. No. So if I buy arba minim, it's shouldn't it be I make a bracha on the kinyan. According to the Rambam. You, you can't you can't use it. You're over Baltoisif until Sukkot. But we're making on the Kenyan. No, oh, you say it, it's it, not it, Roy. It's not Roy yet. Okay, so let's say I mid- bought it. Let's say let's say I bought it on Kolomai. Okay, let's and I didn't clear. make and I didn't and I didn't <clears throat> I didn't make the uh, I didn't do the mitzvah yet. Can I make a separate uh, bracha uh, Shachiano on the Kenyan? Maybe, but I'm just let's understand what you're asking that. We're talking about a bracha and a mitzvah. We're not talking a bracha and a thing. So it's not the same as a car. So it's a bracha. Yeah, but, you say, we, but we said we don't have to make, we don't have to actually put on the talus. We, we're making the bracha anyway. Right, so we, it's, a, it's a bracha that the, the Rambam is telling us, and I believe the Shulchan Aruch is passing like this Rambam here, that you make a bracha on a new mitzvah, which is a Kenyan for you. Or Bamizman Lazman, which is the case of a lulav. So let's leave that aside for a second. But it's Bamizman Lazman, which this isn't. So he says, okay, it's not Bamizman Lazman, but it is a Kenyan. And make a bracha on the mitzvah when you, why, so why does he add, I'm still getting unclear, why does he add Ligara Mikhailam Chadashim? But so called self, it's a Kenyan for you. In other words, you can't say mitzvah lav lahad nisnit, no? <clears throat> Right, you with me? You can't say mitzvahs lav lahen doesn't no, because it's a fart, fart keeping me warm. The whole purpose of a tzitzis, of a, of a talus, that's all. Nobody's saying that you're wearing a talus only for the mitzvah. You have to have enough from the talus. If you don't have enough from the talus, you can't make a bracha on it. Okay. Is it similar to sukkah as well, where one doesn't make a bracha on making the sukkah, that makes Shekhinah have in mind the first night that it includes the Nesya Sukh as well. Is that what you do? I, I mean, I've, I've, I've definitely seen that somewhere. I can't remember where, but... Uh... So you make a bracha on the sukkah because that's one of the big discussions here. You make a bracha on a sukkah. You can't make a bracha when you make the sukkah because there's no mitzvah to make a sukkah. It's an extra mitzvah. But you can make a bracha on this new area that I renovated. Maybe, no, but but Lin Yanenu Yoni, it's not an issue because because there's no mitzvah to make a sukkah. There's no mitzvah to make tzitzis either, so maybe you should make a bracha on the sukkah because it's a kinyan for you. So that's not like you're not buying. I mean, you know, maybe when you buy the sukkah, and you're what if you to what if you bought a, a somebody's house who had a sukkah, a built sukkah in it? So if you bought a if you bought a sukkah, I mean, make it easier. Let's say you bought my sukkah. So if you bought my sukkah, so you can't make the shechiano until you can use it, which is on sukkahs. And then you should have in mind for the sukkah and the mitzvah, mitzvah sayon. So according, according to everything that we just learned, let's just take a, a encapsulate here for a minute. On a, on a, when you make a bracha on yontiv, so what are you what are you making a bracha like after Kiddush when you make a shechianu? So what are you making a bracha on? There's no mitzvah. I mean, you're not making it on the mitzvah of Kiddush. You're you're making it on the chag. Shabbat So that's one kind of bracha. When you make a bracha on a on a on a 
on a tangerine, which is the first of the season, you're making a bracha on the tangerine, Shabbat Mizman Lizman. When you make a bracha on tzitzis, what are you making a bracha? It's not Bo Mizman Lizman. So you have to come on to the third condition of the Rambam, which is a Kenyan. New kind of Shachiyana, which is a Kenyan. And then, so if it's a Kenyan, why don't you make a bracha on tefillin? So the Rambam says you do. He says, Kegoin. Lechain Ein Levar, I'm sorry. What does he say here? The Rambam, Kol Mitzvashi Kenyan, like a going Sitzis Utfilin. He says before you should do. So why don't we make a Shechiano on Tfilin? Because we're Chayshish for the sheet is the same. Mrs. Lav Lahanas didn't know, and you're not allowed to have Simcha from it, per se, the kind of Simcha that you make a Bracha. Okay, very good. I want to tell you something. It's, it's already 10 15, so I've, I've got to, I don't want to get into the, uh, to the next point. But I'll just tell you an interesting thing. Rabbi Shlomo Zalman Urbach. So I have here the uh, Mincha Shlomo. Rabbi Zalman Urbach. So he writes here. This is in Simon Dalad, Chelek Beis of Arachim, Simon Dalad, Sif Gimel. He writes, Le'inyan Shechiyano B'Tfilin. So here's what we're under with today. Le'inyan Shechiyano B'Tfilin. Now, how... It's Dean. Oh, you've got... Are you coming back? I don't know why we're not muting here. There is a setting to mute upon entry. I, sure. did. I thought, okay, you always told me yeah, that, and I never could. Also, you could, you could assign a co-host, and someone else could take that uh, from, your, from off your shoulders. Okay, so let me just finish. <laughs> I'll mute myself in a second. But the but the Shalom says like this, Le'inyin shechiyano b'tzfilin, hisnahagti imbonai shechiyu, the way I acted with my own children, he says. Fascinating, right? Shalifnei yud gimel shana, before there were bar mitzvah, Rock hinichu, they put on tefillin, right? Like all of our kids, uh, you put on tefillin when they're a month before the Burmans were. Avoloino sati lohem hasat tefillin b'matana. But I didn't give them the tefillin, says Rav Shalom Zalman b'matana. Rock bimloi slam yud gimel shana, only on their 13th birthday. Here's your birthday present. Va'af, so what's the habracha? And then they would make a shechiyanu. He al hahanacha v'gam al hamatana shalat filin. Gvaldik. So he had a chap. Rav Shlomo Zalman had a chap that to make a shechianu on the mitzvah itself, like the Rambam says. He's saying. He's saying here. Apparently, we don't paskin like the Rambam when it comes to tefillin, even though we do paskin like the Rambam by beged, because like Gara Mikhailim Chadashim. But apparently we don't pass them like the Rambam when it comes to tefillin. So to make a shechiyano when I give them tefillin, that's no good when they first start putting on tefillin. That would be for the mitzvah. Even though when you buy your kid a, a suit, you make tell them to make a shechiyano, right? So he says, so what do I do? I say, you can borrow these tefillin. And then on his 13th birthday, you take your son, you pick up the tefillin, make a kinyan in the tefillin. And now when you make the bracha, make a shechiyano. Why? So he says, that way you're right, so both the Rambam, which holds of the Hanachas Tefillin, and the Matana is the third shot in the Rambam, Mishum Kinyan. Listen to this. What's the bracha he's making Shechiano on new Tefillin? Yeah, we asked that question. So the answer is. That's talking about what does mitzvah's lav lahanas mean? That means if you kind of with your money a mitzvah, so then you don't make a bracha shechianu on it. Because why? I, I took my money and I put it into tefillin. Do you hear this, Pinchas? This is very important for you. I took my money, I replaced my money with tefillin and mitzvah's lav lahanas so I don't make a bracha shechianu. On the other hand, if I get a gift of, of a mitzvah, well, I just got something for a thousand bucks. That's a different thing. I've got, I've got a new rechush, 
of a thousand dollars. I will loy be matana shazem mamash rechush. That's his lashon. So Rav Shlomo Zalman brings this whole sugya together in such a beautiful way in an eighth that he did with his own kids that you want to make a bro you want to make a bracha on tefillah. So, but but you don't. So do it's it. it's better if it came as a matana than if the person purchased it. Right. Yeah. Right. So let's say you have a thing. Listen, child, I want you to buy your tefillin out of your own money because that's like a really nice thing. Okay. You lose the shachiyana. Better you should buy your kids tefillin than your kids should buy you tefillin. <laughs> that way you both make a you both make a a, a shachiyana. Yeah, yeah. So, you, but but Shmami no, that Rav Shlomo wanted to make the shachiyana. Why? Because he wanted to do the Rambam. And make a bracha on this mitzvah, but he's not going to do it stam. There has to be kanui loy, and then you can make the bracha. So very gishmak in the uh, mincha shleimah. It's a it's a nifla. It's actually like a, a iluyish uh, about what he did. Okay, I wish you all a good gibbon shavach. But, but, but wait a second. If, okay. if the if the if the, uh, if the father had given it to the son as a Kenyan like the month before, so then you have a Kenyan without a mitzvah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so you want to get a Kenyan Both. and a mitzvah. So Both that, at the same time. That way you're making a Shechianu on what? On the mitzvah and the Kenyan, and it becomes like tzitzis when you make the tzitzis. Right. Half of a fellow. Okay. Thank you, Rabbi Have a good day. Okay.